Advocates are sounding the alarm over the shortage of medical personnel and its impact on sexual assault victims. Acute shortages of specially trained forensic nurses are preventing victims' access to timely care, support and justice. According to Sheila Early, president of the Canadian Forensic Nurses Association, timely care from a sexual assault nurse examiner can help stave off a cascade of post-traumatic effects, including depression, anxiety and even suicide. These nurses are also responsible for gathering evidence from a victim. Now, this comes as the number of reported sexual assaults in the country continues to rise. Well, joining us now to give us more insight into this is Ms. Sheila Early herself. Ma'am, welcome to Forum Daily. Thank you, and it's a pleasure to be here. Now, we spoke a little bit about this in our intro, but for our viewers that may not be familiar, can you go over the role of forensic nurses in Canada, especially when it comes to sexual assault victims? Okay, forensic nursing is actually a large umbrella which holds many roles, uh, including legal nurse consultants, um, forensic psychiatric nurses, uh, correctional nurses, forensic nurse examiners across the lifespan. And I will focus on the sexual assault nurse examiner because that's the role that's in the, in the news right now. Uh, the sexual assault nurse examiner or the forensic nurse examiner, they're equal terms, is a nurse who is specially trained to care for individuals who have been subjected to violence and trauma in a positive trauma-related, patient-centered, skilled way, which means that it, they perform a medical examination. And if the patient consents of what is known as a medical forensic examination, where they may collect evidence, but they may also just document. Uh, not every case has injuries as we know it. And the importance is the knowing the psychological, the physical, and the emotional effects of a what is known as a life-altering experience, which is what a trauma related to sexual violence is. And for some further perspective, can you give us a picture of how sexual assault cases are being handled in Canada due to this personnel shortage? We're hearing about some victims being turned away from hospitals because of this shortage. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Okay, it's um, just to go back, a quick history is that the first nurse examiner program was actually in Winnipeg, Manitoba, which is actually in the news right now. And the second one was in Surrey, British Columbia, which I co-founded. Over that 30 years, it was set up as a casual position because the need was in a, at a certain level. That has moved exponentially. We now have many more cases being reported. Now, there's two reasons. One is that the population has increased. The second is more individuals are becoming aware that they can report for specialized care or simply get better medical care. Remember that medical interventions always come first over forensics. Uh, the justice system has found over the years that when the meticulous documentation of injuries and findings and the collection of evidence in a way that it can be used by a forensic lab done by forensic nurse examiners or sexual assault nurses is, has become critical in the criminal justice system. But forensic nurses are trained first to care for that individual medically. Uh, when you look at the what we call the sequelae of sexual violence, uh, you know, it's a whole page long in, in the textbooks. Uh, so it could go from simply having headaches and nightmares and fear of being alone to, a, you know, physical such as head, uh, strangulation can cause strokes. And that's another area that forensic nurses are involved with now because the evidence has shown that during an altercation, either in intimate partner violence or during the commission of a sexual assault, strangulation often happens and it has not been looked at medically. Um, psychologically, it can, again, as I mentioned before in newspaper articles, it could be simply somebody being very depressed, having to leave their job, not being able to tell the people that they would normally tell because of fear, because of shame, and also because they don't know that where the support's going to be. Uh, Post-traumatic stress is probably the most um, highlighted negative effect of any kind of trauma and violence. And that can lead to lifelong disabilities, both psychologically and emotionally. Uh, yes, the statistics do say that individuals undergoing trauma can go to, to suicide. Uh, 
that's why such things as doing a suicide precaution list before they're discharged from hospital, that would mm -hmm. also help. At, when they're alone, they have no supports. What do they turn where? They turn inward. Then we also find that there is a drug and alcohol used to mitigate the the after effects, if you want. And so it's a a prevention. Actually, a forensic nurse is a prevention of many of these things by being that first step of caring.